Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the overcast city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at this KFC because they have something on the menu that I have not tried and it's the spicy big crunch stacker combo and they also have Cinnabons, brand new. I'm not sure if it's only in Canada or it's Canada and the US, I have no idea. So I'm gonna have the four piece Cinnabons as my dessert. We're up next, shh. Hi there, what can we get for you today? Hi, I'd love to try the spicy big crunch stacker combo, please. All right, and, and that comes with regular fry? Uh, yeah, and uh, the Pepsi. Okay, any and, gravy on the side today? Uh, no thank you, but I'd love to try your four piece Cinnabon. Okay, perfect. The four piece Cinnabon delight. Perfect. All right, is that everything for today? That's it. Now, are you, I just want to clarify, you want the Cinnabon delight, so like the little tidbits, correct? Uh, or do you want the four piece cinnamon biscuits? Oh, the, the biscuits would be fantastic. Do you want the biscuits instead? Yes, please. Okay. I didn't know there was a difference. Thanks for telling oh, me. Oh yeah, there is. And that's everything? Uh, that would be. Okay, 2145. We'll see you at the second window. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, 2145. You heard the lady. Okay, Hello. 2145. Thank you. You're welcome. Cinnamon biscuits. All right. Oh, oh perfect. Take Thank care. you. Thanks. Thanks. All right, people. Let's park it. All right, people. We are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right. We got our drink. We got our straw. Let's see if we can open that up. Oh, look. Paper straw. Nice. Before we go any further, I brought my own festive thing. Before we go any further, I brought my own festive placemat and napkin. What else we got in here? We got our fries. There we go. We'll put that on the placemat. We got four bonus fries. Check that out. Nice. We'll just dump them out onto the placemat there. Put that aside. Then we got our spicy big crunch stacker and extra napkins and our Cinnabons. Let's just quickly check. <gasps> well, I almost dropped it. You see that? I bonked it. Ooh la la. Ooh. Look sexy. Those look sexy. All right. Can't wait to get into those. Ooh la la. They're cold on the bottom. Oh, there's you know what's funny is they're cold up here. And then right on the bottom, they're hot. So I'm not sure why that is. All right, let's open this up and take a couple pictures and then we'll start eating. But first, let's wash our hands. Got to do the sanitizer. Hey, editor, cue the music. All clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close-up of the spicy Big Crunch stacker combo. We've got our Pepsi. We got our fries. We got our bonus fries. And we've got our spicy Big Crunch stacker. Let's do the fresh test. It is bouncing back. Nice shiny bun. Let's lift that lid and it is toasted, of course. And it looks like we got some stacker sauce, lots of shredded lettuce. And then over here we got our crunchy, big crunch stacker patty. And then underneath that one should be another one. Holy, that one's even bigger than the first. Small, huge, small, Huge. Thanks, KFC. Let's lift this one up. See if there's any more stacker sauce. And we have extra stacker sauce on the bottom. I'm almost recommending, if you ever do this sandwich, ask them for some on the side and put it in between and get it really juicy. All right, guys. Let's put that back together. Start eating. First up, got to do our bonus fries. There's one, two. Not crazy hot anymore. Lukewarm fries. KFC, KFC fries are pretty good. 
They're kind of like McDonald's fries, but cooked a little longer. As you can see, they're kind of more golden than McDonald's fries, but pretty much the same. Although these aren't hot anymore. Not that I wasted a lot of time going from there to here to show you guys. I don't think they served them to me very hot. Oh well. I guess I should have gotten the gravy, eh? Who remembers that Warner Brothers cartoon from the 70s where I think it was a cat and a dog and they were they were doing this thing and the and the, I think the the dog would make the cat look like a baby and then when the cat was in the house the cat would steal food and then he'd drag the cat out with a string. Of course the the cat kept forgetting to get the gravy and so at the very end the cat got the dog into a butcher shop and it's just all meat. And of course the dog's lying on the table. Uh, I, guess it's, I guess it's kind of violent in the fact that the cat sticks a funnel in the dog's mouth because he can't eat anymore. He goes, and I didn't forget the gravy. And he starts pouring the gravy into the dog's stomach. Violence. Good cartoon though. Quick sip, show the logo. These fries almost taste like carnival fries. And carnival, carnival fries, they have that special flavor to them. Yeah, next time, I'm going to get the gravy, so we're going to just dunk. It definitely adds to the experience, doesn't it? While I finish these fries, you guys can write and type your favorite Warner Brothers cartoon episode ever. That's one of mine. All done. I just noticed on the cop it says Baja Blast. Maybe I should have got one of those. What do you guys prefer? Pepsi or Baja Blast? Comment. Next up is the spicy Big Crunch Stacker. Let's compare this one to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Pretty close, isn't it? I think they are. Way to go, KFC. I should, next time I come, I think I should compare this one to their spicy uh, chicken chicken sandwich. See which one's spicier. All right, let's eat. Mmm. Super crunchy. Super tasty. I'm feeling that spiciness to it. I don't think it's as spicy as their spicy chicken sandwich, chicken chicken sandwich. But all the all the flavors that you've come to, I'm getting all over my hand. But all the flavors in that chicken that you've come to love, like I have, are there in both of these uh, huge chunks of chicken. Mmm. And the bun's so fresh! I believe that KFC calls this hot sauce their stacker sauce. But let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. It is possible they have a spicy sauce plus the stacker sauce. I'm not 100% sure. It's got a nice little bite to it. It's not too spicy. I think most people who enjoy some spice but not really hot spice would totally get through this easy. I wish I had like a microphone right here so you guys could hear the crunchiness. I think I'll move closer to the camera on the next bite. See if you guys can hear this one. Some parts of it are super crunchy. Some parts aren't. It's definitely a lot of food. If you don't want to pick out too much, go for the single. You'll get all the same flavors, less food. This next bite looks like it's going to be the best bite because I'm going to get everything and probably the stacker saucer and the spicy sauce are going to be concentrated in the middle of the sandwich as opposed to the outer edge. So this bite is going to be wicked. Mm-hmm. Just check out the edges of that chicken, this extreme close-up. 
once again before I finish demolishing this thing. You can see all those spices on that chicken and the breading and a little bit of that stacker sauce drizzling out the edge. I, again, I recommend guys putting at least another, I don't know, one of those ketchup cups full of spicy sauce and you'll enjoy it way more. Definitely extra sauce, people. Not enough. Last bite. All right, next up is our Cinnabon biscuits. And I do believe there's a difference between their Cinnabons and their Cinnabon biscuits. And uh, let's just check this out. Yeah, they look like biscuits with Cinnabon stuff on them. I'm hoping that the recipe for the actual biscuits is kind of along the lines of like a Cinnabon, I don't know, dough. Um, but let's go in for a close up. All right, guys, there are your four Cinnabon biscuits. Like I said, as soon as I saw one of these things, I'm like, okay, it is like an actual biscuit as opposed to it maybe just being the size of a biscuit uh, or mini Cinnabons or whatever. But you got their Cinnabon creamy icing on top with that Cinnabon uh, cinnamon drizzle. And you can see all that cinnamon on there so I'm going to have to like pick one of these up and try to not get too messy. All right, let's see if it's any good. Part of me is thinking of going through the drive through again real quick and trying the other Cinnabon thing. Because these just look like regular biscuits. But hmm, let's just give it a shot. So it just tastes like a regular well made like a butter biscuit and then they just put all this sugar and stuff on the top i think it's just a straight up butter biscuit guys and then they just put the uh, the cinnabon uh, icing on it with that cinnabon um let's call it sauce and it's okay i don't mind it but i think i'd prefer a cinnabon let's go through the drive through after I finish this, of course. Not too dry. The icing and the sauce really help. And it's definitely a really good buttery biscuit with a Cinnabon twist to it. Before we go through the drive through let's try one of our famous free throws. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. No points for Ken. One more time. Yes! Two points for Ken. There's nobody in the drive. There's one guy in a drive through but he's already getting his food, so nobody else is coming through that I saw. Perfect timing. All right, so they have Cinnabon biscuits, and then I'm thinking they have Cinnabons as well. And I really want to try just a regular Cinnabon. Not super stoked about the biscuit part, but if they have, like, Cinnabons with a Cinnabon bakery kind of flair to it. Hey, Hi, uh, I'd like to try your Cinnabon. Do you have like regular Cinnabons or they're only Cinnabon biscuits? Only Cinnabon biscuits. So you want the regular biscuit or the Cinnabon biscuit? Oh, okay. So there's no actual cinna uh, Cinnabon cinnamon bun. They're only oh. biscuits. <laughs> All right, guys, that was my mistake. I just thought they had like Cinnabons and then Cinnabon biscuits, but they do not. I repeat, they do not. Well, as you can tell by this video, if you're gonna do the spicy big crunch stacker, uh, make sure you get extra stacker sauce because you want way more sauce on that than what I got. Uh, so that is my recommendation to you, but I suggest giving it a shot. And if you like biscuits, buttery biscuits, and then the Cinnabon sauce and icing on top of it, go try it. Can't wait to give one of these to my wife, see what she thinks. I bet she'll say the same thing as I. I prefer just straight up Cinnabons because uh, you just, once you've had a Cinnabon, you can't do anything else. And that is something different compared to what I really wanted.
which is a regular set apart. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist right down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.